Hey, what's going on guys? So it's Tamel Dontro with another video. I'm here because tomorrow is World AIDS Day. And I wanted to do a video because it marks 10 years since I've been, you know, within the forest and trying to, well, not the forest forest, but you know what I mean, um, within this community and trying to debunk the stigma, trying to encourage people to get into care, encourage people to get tested, and also just inform and just share my story. I'm not going to lie, telling my story and sharing and doing these type of videos do drain me and it does take a big chunk of me. It, it does take a chunk of my energy, but I want to help people to realize that you still can live beyond your status. You still can protect yourself. You still can do normal things, you know. I found out when I was 19 years old, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to compute what was given to me. I didn't know what to do at that moment. And it was a day by day thing. You know, I was I had my first HIV test done when I was 14. My teenage years was crazy. And um, I was looking for love in all the wrong places. I've done things because it was there. Um, I've done I have not protected myself because, you know, I will listen to others. I believe what they said and being clean and um, not having anything, you know, so I've done all of, all of that. But besides and despite how I contracted the virus, that's less important right now is getting everything together, getting into care, staying in care, taking my medication, seeking help and seeking help for your mental health because this it takes a chunk out of your mental health as well. I have managed to continue the fight. I've managed to continue to keep myself healthy within these 10 years. And I'm not going to say it's easy because you have your bad days. You have a good days and, you know, you you have your struggles. And, you know, there's some days you just want to give up. You look at the pills. You don't want to take it. You get the notification of going to your appointments but you don't want to go. You know, it, it, the sun rises, you're in bed, you don't want to get up. You know, there's certain things that you don't want to do while living with this virus, but I encourage you to take charge of your life. I encourage you to go and get tested. I encourage you to seek out help to stay negative and get the condoms, get all the stuff you need to stay negative. I know people get tired of saying, use condoms, use condoms, but you know, that's part of the way to keep yourself HIV negative. Also, education helps. Breaking down a stigma helps because if you have a lot of stigma towards HIV and then you can never get it, it's it, it will be impossible for you to stay HIV negative. You have to take charge of your life. There's PrEP out there. If you don't know anything about PrEP, I will leave the information down below or you can just type in PrEP. PrEP is a form of contraception. Um, it does use one of the HIV drugs, um, Truvada, um, to help stop the um, contraction of HIV. If you take it correctly, if you get the information and know about it, you can protect yourself. But it does not protect you from other STDs like syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea. It doesn't do that. If, if you're HIV positive and scared to get into treatment, take the time that you need. But don't take too much time. Time is, can go fast. It can go slow. But with HIV, it goes real fast. You know, you want to keep yourself healthy. You want to get on medication. I know medication sometimes is scary. The side effects, um, being somewhere where family don't know, you have to hide your medications or, you know, you don't want to show up on your um, insurance that's coming through your job or don't want it to show up on your parents or your significant other's insurance. It can be di very difficult at times, but there's ways to work around it. You have to put forth your strength. You have to put forth your goals. You have to put forth, take control. You know, it's easier said than done, but 10 years, I know people 35 years living with this. I know people who was born with this virus. You look at them, you will never tell 
and and it sounds crazy to say that you, that you know you can never tell, but you can never you will never think that a person is dealing with this because of the way they're going, of the way they look at life, and you know it's like I said, it's challenging at times, but you need to take charge of your life. Yes, you need to. It's not oh I I want to. No, you need to, and you need to want to take charge, you know and. Despite what people say, it is what it is. They're not living your life. It's you. You know, it's... As of right now, I'm like, I'm trying to get through this video. And I, 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 don't, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. But I'm going to get through this video tonight. And it is going to be put out tonight. Because I want people to know that... It is what it is. You got the virus. So what? Bump what other people say. Bump what society says. Is you. Do you want to live or do you want to die? Do you want to be in a hospital or do you want to be at your dream job? Do you want to travel the world or do you just want to be six feet underground while things are traveling inside of you and out? Turning you into bones and shit. Oh, excuse me. I got too deep for a moment. You got to you, you got to you got to push yourself. For my people who are HIV negative and you know or wondering what to do or how to say things and talk to people, ask questions. Go online, read about the virus. Learn on how to talk to people. Learn what not to say to people and learn when it's not a joke. Like don't joke about it because it could be that very person who want to talk to you about come who want to talk to you about their status and they hear something negative you're going to push them away i've seen it happen i've experienced that and i want everyone to be an ally i want everyone to know and to break down the stigma and i want everyone to take charge we can beat this we don't need to see the numbers rise we need to see this number go down we need to see it at zero Zero infections, zero. That is the goal right now. Next year, it. Let's just be honest. It's still gonna grow, but within a couple of years, we got to see this thing get to zero. We got to take charge, and like I said, World AIDS Day for me is to celebrate the lives who are here, and I thank every and each and every person who is here, who is continuing the fight. Who, was, who helps break down the stigma, who helps encourage me, who helps develop programs and new medications, who, who, you know, it's just a lot of stuff I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the lives who are not presently here, but who are hold close and dear to my heart, you know, because they inspired me. They talked to me throughout my issues. They talked to me through... The, it's just so much, and I'm not going to cry on this video. I promised myself I wasn't going to do that because this is not a sad video. This is nothing to be sad about. You got to use other people's lives to reach your goals, to, to, to get to where you need to be, and that's all I want to do. It's going on 840 right now. It's past 841, but I want you to stay encouraged and stay true to yourself. And um, just be inspired. And hopefully this video will help someone. Even if it's just one person, I just want to reach out and tell my story. Even though I didn't tell the full story, you can check those out later. But stay encouraged. It's nothing to be sad about. Nothing to be sad about even through the midst of fear, even through the midst of trouble, don't fear it. Don't let it take over you. Because if you do, where would you be? Take that step. Make that phone call. Go on the web. Find your nearest place where you can go and get tested. Get linked into care. Make that phone call, do some research, 
even ask me. I'll do the research for you. I will even look for a place. I've done it before. I will call whatever state you're in. I will do what I have to do to help you get into care. And I'm not just saying that. I'm so for real right now. So, yeah. That's all I got to say. So, good night, good day, good morning. Wherever you at, be inspired. Stay true to yourself. Get tested. Get into care. Love yourself. Stay strengthened.